we're going to talk about family doesn't matter. In a sense, it does. But when you went through what, like, some certain individuals have where they're really, really the black sheep of the family, family doesn't matter. When you've had family to come up against you almost to try to take you out like they spiritually were attacking you demonically, that those demonic family members do not matter. So I want you guys to understand this when I speak this in some sense, if you're like on the wrong track and you've been doing ugly things and you know, you're the problem or whatever, but in like, say for instance, my case, we, I haven't been around my family members and I don't be around them on a day to day basis. So whatever they have went and said, um, see, the problem with this family is trying to hide behind masks and try to make the world perceive them as something that they're not, that God is getting ready to strip from this family. So, <coughs> I want you to understand, in some cases, family do matter but that's if you got a healthy family a family that have different that have broken systems within uh their dynamic honey it's gonna take way more than just uh, whatever you going to school because i've heard as well like you can have people say for instance go to school for psychology to be a counselor to be and at the time when the person is turning a blind eye to what the spirit really be trying to tell us we'll think oh god want me to go and um do this for myself a lot of times you'll get a lot of narcissistic sick people that will try to get into that major or that field to try to tarnish and make people perceive them as something better or that they're different. But God all the time, the awakened spirit be trying to tell you, go and get this help. Go and get this help. You need counseling. It's not for you to go to school for that because not, you know, especially if you're someone that hide behind closed doors and wanna keep things hidden. You know, you'll never heal if you are a secretive, sneaky, uh, manipulative, deceptive, Decepticon type person. You'll never heal if you're trying to hide who you are for real. You're wearing a mask. You may have wore a mask all the way through your childhood, through uh, high school, through you know, half of your adult, and now you're 40 and you're a narcissist. You're a sick narcissist. Therefore, and you haven't tried to even open the ear to hear God's voice because you're always going to the left. You want the world to see in the daylight to see you as somebody bright and that you're vibrant and that you're good. But when night, it's almost like um, a vampire, you know, or, or the vampire movies. It's almost like that. Like a person that you know, in the daytime, they're, they're perceived and they're looked at as, oh, you know, they're looked at as, you know, uh, um, a person that's healthy. You look at them, they got their mental on point. They're not out here doing a bunch of jacked up stuff, you know. But as soon as nightfall or whatever, they're out here killing people off, trying to set up roadblocks, stumbling blocks, and doing a bunch of stuff to people because they're hurt and broken. But they want the world to see them know God is getting ready to uncover those type of people. So guys, I'll be back with some more, but that's just a little bit of what I was on today, and I will come back with more. 
Family doesn't matter when you're dealing with those type situations.